On problem number two, we're asked to compute the sum, and we have what should be recognizable as a telescoping series. So we have cosine of pi over 6 over n minus cosine of pi over 6 over n plus 1. So what should, tell, what should clue you in that this is a telescoping series is we have two terms that are subtracted and our n's are off by a certain constant. We have n and n plus 1, or you'd have n and n plus 2, something like that. So this is definitely telescoping. So remember, for a telescoping series, what you want to do is just write out the first couple terms. You'll get to see that lots of things cancel out. And depending on how far the shift was, in this case it's only 1, n to n plus 1, that tells you how many terms you're going to keep at the beginning and how many terms you're going to keep at the end. So when we start n equals 1, we just get cosine of pi over 6 minus cosine of pi over 6 over 2. I'm not going to bother simplifying this because they're all going to start canceling out pretty soon anyway. The next term, when n equals 2, you can see you're getting cosine pi over 6 over 2 minus cosine pi over 6 over 3, and these cancel out. And the 3's are going to cancel out for the next term, and they're all going to start canceling out. So the only, ones that, the only one that won't cancel out is the very last term. So now you're at the end, you have cosine pi over 6 over n minus cosine pi over 6 over n plus 1. And this would have canceled out with the previous term. So you're left with cosine pi over 6 minus cosine pi over 6 over n plus 1. So since this is an infinite series, this last term is when n is going to infinity. When n is going to infinity, we get pi over 6 over infinity, which is 0. So our full term becomes cosine pi over 6 minus cosine of 0. Because this whole part in there would become 0 as n goes to infinity. So now it's just a matter of knowing your trig angles. So cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 0 is 1. So if you were to get a common denominator, you would get that square root of 3 minus 2 